Okay. <clears throat> so a few things right off the bat. Um, this is the sound quality is probably. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, this is already kind of fucked up. <laughs> My recording. <laughs> I was gonna make a video, uh, sort of like a live gameplay commentary, and uh, yeah, already fucked up majorly. Well, okay, I guess this is going to be an Alchemist gameplay. I didn't mean to do that shit. Anyways, what the fuck? Anyways, making a recording of this. My microphone is probably garbage. I'm going to move it, move it away from my face. And maybe it'll be better, I don't know. Maybe it'll be better if I just put up close like this. Hello. Yeah, that's probably shit. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm making this video by popular demand. And by that, I mean only Asai wants to see this and nobody else in the world. And also because I have a huge ego and I want to actually do this just because it makes me feel like I'm important. <laughs> But uh, this is going to be a disaster already, because it's an invoker mid and have an AA. And, uh. All right. I don't know what's good now. Do that, I guess. That's all I can really do. It's in the back. Unfortunately. Watch your heels. Uh, so, playing Alchemist, I know this kind of sucks and it's not really going to be a very good gameplay already, but obviously the most important thing when playing Alchemist, uh, at least in these early stages, is to actually get one of the bounty runes. Um, I mean, if you don't know that, why the fuck are you playing Dota? You should kill yourself. And with this lineup, we should be able to get it with a jug who can spin, coddle, and aromatic and arrow, so it should be an easy run. Hey, little buddy. So, uh, I'm seeing that there's an invoker and a Lena, which means I could get roamed on. Uh, probably, I'm, I kind of want a, uh, I want a soul ring, I think. Don't really know. Should get this. There's no Indus heroes that they have, so. The battle begins. We'll Alright. Nice. Got one. 300 gold. It's very nice. Gonna buy a self right away. Just because. And. I'm also gonna get a soul ring early, I guess. Just so I can spam. Uh. Acid spray, and he's already starting to harass. I should expect that. Mm -hmm. I want this range creep? I got it. Very important to get the range creep. I'm gonna drag these creeps up to my hill by auto attacking the invoker, 
and then moving the aggro from the creeps up the hill so that I don't have to go down too far to uh, to attack them. He tried to attack me there without going for the last hit on the range creep. I didn't deny it, but I managed to make sure that he did not get it. And I'll get this one. Yep. So far, it's going fine. Uh, I have. I'm going to get all four last hits, and now I can spam the acid spray, and that really sucks for him. And if I play this right, I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to hit it twice just so I get it. And then I can get this one. Oh, I missed that one. That's too bad. But I got 7 out of the 8 creeps so far, which is a really good start. Usually the worry on Alchemist is that you get zoned out before you can actually do anything. But now the problem I face is that the creeps are up his hill, and I'm going to face a lot of harass. So actually, he's not here right now, which is kind of bad. He should be here harassing me. But I'm going to yeah, get the last hit. Get a little harassed, but that's okay because I got a stout. And the big issue is that I just got every last hit in the lane. I dragged myself soul ring right away. Now I've got to face a bit of a decision uh, that a lot of out pickers face. It's what to skill level 3. I think I'm going to go with acid spray here. I know I'm doing pretty well, but just to be safe. I'm also going to run top because of the timer. Hopefully the bounty rune is here. Obviously you want the bounty rune from an alchemist. It's the illusion. Too bad. But not worthless. I'm going to plant a fucking tree just to get my soul ring. And I missed two last hits while I was doing all that. Whatever, I'm just gonna go for this. I'm gonna get it. He's not denying, which is pretty bad, honestly. He should be denying a lot if he's Exhort Invoker. And he's just. He's giving up so many last hits to me. He just gave that one up to me. Yeah, this Invoker, I can already tell, is not very skilled. I'm not saying that to be like a dick or anything, but. I have 17 out of, I think, 18 creeps. No, that's not right. 17 out of, like, I don't know, 20 or 24 or something like that, but really good farm so far. More than you could really rightfully expect for an alchemist. So Invoker doesn't know how to play against an alchemist, or he's just kind of too passive or something, somewhere along those lines. I guess the acid spray is doing a lot to him. I fucked that up. I should have gone. I should have realized that he was waiting to uh, to steal that from me and gone to get the range creep right away. Kind of looking around on my map, one of the things that people don't do enough is look at their map. Like, I'm not doing anything right now, I'm just kind of standing in lane, so I'm looking around, checking to see what's going on. I see Sven has boots. Probably a Helm of the Dominator rush still, but I would, uh, I would expect it to a little bit slow down in that case. Either way, like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm getting a free lane, which is really, really bad for them, and really, really good for us. Oh, I'm not going to get this, am I? Shit, I should have attacked him. What the fuck? Okay, A is there. There's also a TP in from... Uh, appeared to be this. Must have been the Lena. Had to be the Lena. I don't know why they're even here, because how are they going to kill me? Oh, that's how they're going to kill me, I guess. Lena has to hit a stun, though. And he didn't, so I'm fine. And... Oh, Marani, you shouldn't have taken that bounty room from me, homie. I was gonna go get that bounty room bottom. Unfortunately, it did not happen. Invoker took a ton of harass from that. And they're really trying to... They're trying to pressure me now. I think it's too late. A bit too late. I'm pretty sure Lena's not here anymore. Great arrow from Rana. It's gonna stun us both though. I think we still have him. Yep. I'm just gonna go back for the Lena. Oh, actually, AA had to run. Oh, I'm gonna get a triple kill here. Nope, just a double. Still really good for me. That Marana basically just fed me two free kills. Got on level 6. That's okay, it's still really good for us. And uh, that's really, really bad for them. I'm gonna spam my spray. Now, the only reason I didn't get level 3 in spray was because I'm doing so well in this lane and it almost feels like I don't need it, which is pretty amazing. 
almost got a five minute. Uh, it'll be about a seven minute. Seven minute uh, armlet. I usually rush an armlet. I mean, that's not just me, it's the build on this hero. You rush the armlet. Uh, I'm gonna go top right away. Oh, unless he rotated up really high. And that makes me think that he has people watching. That, that there's someone here, but maybe not. And there's a bounty for me. He's auto attacking, which means he's gonna push the wave, which is really stupid. You don't wanna be doing that against an alchemist. I'm gonna even get a deny on him. Like, this guy is absolutely has no idea how to play against an alchemist mid. And I could even go even greer, and I think I will. Fuck it. Fuck this guy. He doesn't know how to play. Fuck him. So I'm not babysitting him. Oh man, I missed that last time. I don't think we can kill him. Oh, he should've got the double starfall, dude. He didn't go for the double starfall for some reason. That would've been him dead. If you, t if you go for the double starfall, he dies. Yeah, I'm running a kind of... I mean, he hit the arrow, which is great, but messed up the gank in the end. It's not a big deal. Forced him out of lane, which is almost, in a way, better, because he has to go all the way back to base now. Assuming he doesn't have, like, a lot of help in that regard. Let's see if I can get the deny. Nope. Can I get the... Wow, I'm just getting everything. This is a really good start for me. Alright, now that I've got armlet... Hey, Coddle, are there any stacks for me, or is it just for you? It's fine if it's just for you, obviously. I'm just asking. I've got armlet now, so... By the way, I have like 40 last hits, so this lane is pretty insanely good. Yeah, it's fine, bro. Get your own stuff, it's fine. I just wanted to know, because I have an armlet now, so I could actually take them. Uh, communicating with your team is important, not just by like telling them that they're morons. That's that's not a good thing to do. Although I do that sometimes, I'm not going to lie, like, I think... Almost every Dota player has done that at some point. I'm not going to act like I've never done that, but if you want to actually win, then... So in between times where there's no creeps in lane, there's going to be creeps in about 4 seconds there. At about 18.15, there's going to be creeps there. But in the meantime, I can farm the jungle. And this invoker is so bad that I don't think he's... Like, look at him, he's attacking... He's auto-attacking the range creep. And he's going to push the lane up to me, rather than holding it there. Which means I'm going to get all three of these creeps. He's pushing it so hard that all these three creeps are going to come up to my lane. And I can get three last hits out of four, and I'm not even in the lane. Which is as good as I can hope for, really. They, their one gank didn't work. It's not surprising, because I don't have great gank heroes. And they haven't tried again yet. And Invoker is almost doing nothing. So I'm. this is almost like I'm free farming, which is pretty insane. And almost like... This game's over. Like, when I see an enemy alchemist in the game, I see that lean on the hill. I, I noticed her on my minimap. I didn't notice her on my uh, on my regular screen. I didn't notice her on the minimap, and that's really important. Whenever you see uh, kind of like a flash of color or a flash of enemy on your minimap, you sh your eyes should be trained to see that. And I think a lot of people in lower brackets don't check their minimap nearly often enough. So I hit ridiculously hard with this arm armlet on right now which means I'm just going to get every last hit uncontested, as I would. And I'm pushing the lane again. You notice how I push the lane got every single last hit? And there, I know there's not going to be any creeps there until 9.45. Every 15 seconds, the creeps kind of get closer to mid. And I'm also going to do this, where I pull both camps at the same time. Actually, is there even a camp there? Probably isn't, because coddle has been in. Uh... Now look at this invoker. Again, doing the same thing that, that I mentioned before. He just auto attacking creeps. This guy is awful. Like really, really bad. He's got a Midas though somehow. I guess he's just. I guess we've just been trading last hits. Like I haven't even tried to deny him at all. But still, like he's pushed the lane so hard, and I'm gonna get all four last hits. If he was good, he'd be denying creeps and keeping the the lane steady, almost like you do in the safe lane when you're playing carry. And I should have blocked there so I could get these creeps in the acid spray, but I didn't. I'm gonna get every last hit here. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm coming, thank you. Alright. 
I'm really, really close. The AA is in mid now. He's probably really low level because he's an AA, level 4 still. He's got nothing to show for beat picking AA so far, which is really nice for us. And I'm not afraid of him at all. Invoker's even feeding me his fucking creeps. So, like, I don't care about any of this. And they're also getting low from the acid spray, so... Like... I don't know what that was. I just got an extra 100 gold from that Invoker, feeding me those uh, summons. Uh, and the AA obviously presents a problem to the Alchemist because of his ultimate uh, affecting his, his uh, natural healing. But... Uh, he's he's not going to present any problem this early on, and uh, any rotations he's going to make to the mid is going to be almost useless. Like unless they have a follow up stun, they're going to be useless. And I almost have an 11 minute uh, sacred relic, which is pretty nice without stacks. That's pretty much as good as you can really hope for. I'm going to get around a 13, 14 minute radiance, which is again without stacks and without help, like pretty good. Not great, but pretty damn good uh, for my level at least. And I'm very happy with it, obviously. Invoker's not even in the lane anymore, he's just disappeared, and I have no idea why. I don't know if my teammates are causing that much pressure on, in the lane. Okay, yeah, my bad. I should have gone for the rune there, Ron is right, to ping me like that. And I nearly need 600 more gold for Radiance, which is really good. And uh, playing an Alchemist, you're obviously not going for any ganking here. You're just farming, and uh, I'm playing very passively, getting every last hit. Invoker's farming as well, but, you know, I can't really worry too much about that. Especially because he has, what, how many deaths? One death. He's got a couple kills, presumably from Sunstrike. I haven't seen him kill anyone in the lane. Maybe he killed Amarana earlier, but... But yeah, he must have Sunstriked, and he's not killing me yet. He's blocking the lane, finally. But then his creeps are taking a ton of damage. I'm f I failed that. I could have gone for his uh, for his um, summons there. Could have gone for them. And killed them. That would have been even better. Now I'm pretty sure there's an actual. Yeah, there we go. So now I can do that uh, very efficient double farm here with the Atta Spray in the middle. And that's Radiance. Now the next item I'm going to want to go for is going to be Boots of Travel, because Boots of Travel, people, you got to realize that Boots of Travel lets you farm anywhere on the map. And the map is actually very small. People think the map can be big, but it's a tiny little map. And being able to farm anywhere on it is really important. Uh, oh, got my TP. Let me just drop my uh, drop that. Actually, I don't want to drop that. I'll drop this. Take that. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm very farmed. And uh, ready to basically just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna queue up uh, another bounty rune. So they're not stopping me whatsoever, and that's kind of not really what you want to be doing against an alchemist. I'm not even getting that much help. It's not like there's somebody like just sitting over mid stalking. And he's going to feed me his illusions again. Awful play. Um, this invoker is, you know, really not paying attention to anything he's doing. Or he's just going to be like a god later and fuck me up. But right now, nothing. Not feeling threatened at whatsoever. In this jug, trying to take the tower, we'll back off. Got every single last hit there. I've got 105 last hits, which is like really good. And uh, without stacks, that's almost as many as you can get. That's kind of bad, that's a timber. They're gonna get the deny there, unfortunately. I could be charging the stun right now. I think I will actually. And, uh, there we go. Hopefully no sunstrike. I'm gonna go back to base. Looks like Sven's doing well. He's got probably stacks here. Can we get a ward on the Ancients to block it? Just because uh, Sven's probably stacking the shit out of it. 
Sven looks like he's uh, got his Helm of the Dominator rush going. This guy's just at level 6. So I'm not still not worried about him. Now I'm going to continue to farm. I'm not going to get aggressive now that I've got this uh, Radiance. And my next item will be Manta Style because it lets you um, split your illusions that have... Uh... Yeah, okay, I'll buy you eggs when I'm like 6 slotted, bro. Force him out of lane a bit, and then go in the jungle. And I'm just running away from that creep because my range is going to get it. Always be thinking about your efficiency. i hit that one more time, fuck it. Go for the next. And basically I'm just trying to farm as efficiently as I possibly can, hitting every single camp. Now I could just be farming this one solo, but I'm going to cut down that tree, plunk down my acid spray, and then I can farm both camps just at the same time. Nice and quickly, going to the next. I'm paying attention to my timers. I'm looking around the map while I'm farming because I can basically just... Uh, once you get to a level where you're comfortable with your movement in Dota, like I'm just A-clicking there, uh, you really want to be looking around the map as much as you can. You can notice my movements. I'm checking around the map while I'm moving from direction to direction. Check my Juggernaut. I can see he's building a Battle Fury. That gives me info. Invoker has a Yules. I know that now. And if you're not doing that, you might be caught by surprise by something. Now this AA is completely alone. I might go for a kill here. Because I think I can get him. Oh no, he did something smart. He ran into the trees there. Oh, I'm gonna stun myself. I think he probably TP'd out. He either knew I was, he had a ward there or something, but I'm guessing he just had game sense. Probably TP'd out right away. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, they're gonna go for a kill there. I'm gonna look around what I can do. I've got boots of travel, right? So I can push bottom right now. Come in bottom. Let's push. I noticed that there were heroes in this general area, so I can go to the other general area and push bottom. Because I don't really want to be ganking heroes. I want to be avoiding heroes and taking objectives. Right? Ah, he used his ghost spot. Oh, we still got him. Nice. He's really weak. We're gonna be able to take his tower and try and get the last hit because that's important. Every bit of gold that you can get is important. Every single bit. Because like, how how many times have you been in a situation where you need ten gold for buyback or something, or like a hundred gold for set item as the enemies are pushing? Right. So every single thing is important. Looking around the map, we've got all lanes pushing. So I'm gonna fall back and farm my jungle. It's super safe to do that, and uh, like because we don't really need to apply pressure right now. We're already winning. We're already well in the lead because of, you know, just the implied uh, late game of Alchemist. And what I should be doing here, I forgot, is to bring this camp over. I'm just going to farm this camp now because I know those creatures are going to end my Radiance or my uh, Chemical uh, Burn or whatever the hell it is. And my, I can see that my team's operating without me. So rather than go with them and needlessly be there, I can be super efficient and uh, just farm other places. They're, t they're team fighting without me, but they're like taking decent trades. Not great trades, but decent trades. Like they just traded a Sven from from Marana. That's a great trade for us. And one will take any day. And I didn't even need to be there, right? I'm farming and getting more gold for the later game. Where I'm gonna be actually they're gonna look to me to actually start carrying the game. I'm looking around where I can go. I'm gonna go mid and then probably TP top. So I can go mid and then I see this is pushing. I'm always looking at my mini map. Mini map is the most important tool and the best tool in any Dota player's arsenal is to be able to see the whole map like that. I can see I still have time before it reaches a tower and the creeps actually start dying, so I'm going to take one more lane, a mid. I'm looking at bottom as well, notice my team's pushing. I don't even have to actually put my cursor down there, I just notice it because of the mini map. Now I'm top, farming as much as I can here. I'm just going to steal it all like a fucking cunt, and I got my Manta. And once I get Manta, it's just a really short uh, thing away from Radiance. You can kill this guy. I'm going to charge my stun up all the way. And, okay. That's weird. My ult is on cooldown. I noticed people come from the bottom. I didn't have to move my camera there to see them. I just looked at my mini-map. 
I want my Manta style, please. This joke took my courier. It's fine. Uh, and there's no room on it. Fantastic. We use the courier. It's gonna let them use it, whatever. Not really too offended by that. Bottom is pushing. It's fantastic. I'll go mid because there's some decent creeps there, and this jungle camp isn't really going anywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna get my Manta. There's creeps there. Doing this dual farming stuff. I wanna get caught. Oh well. Did she, ever, did she at least have mana for it? No, she. That sucks. She actually lost uh, money for her for her eggs. Someone's still messing with the courier. But this is my manta now. Whack. There's a juicy wave top lane. I also know, I also noticed bot lane's pushing it. So I'm my courier. I know Invoker's farming that lane over there. I'm farming both of these camps at once with all my AOE uh, damage. Now I can farm top. Invoker's there, but I'm not scared of him at all. Top, give me. Whatever, this guy's a moron, but fuck it. Oh no, no, no I misclicked. Uh, fuck. Well, that was maybe look stupid. I misclicked, sorry. That was horrible camera work by me. I can go bottom now. I noticed that no one's here. They're all top, so I'm going to wrap this tower. I should have turned my armlet on before I use my manta, but it's not really a big deal. We're going to get the tower regardless. So it's a free tower for us. I'm massive. I'm just going to go farm their jungle now because it you know, uh, gives space to my teammates. So look at my mini-map, I see my whole team is fighting at the top lane. I don't actually need to go look because I can just look at the mini-map and know exactly where they are, which is really important. It's a good skill to to, to grow. Now I'm going to split my illusions and send them to the different camps. And I know oh, there's a bounty room, perfect. And you can see how fast and ridiculously my gold is spiking. Uh, I'm just going to send this guy over here so that they kill it. And already it's probably GG because my team is winning without me. Uh, which is always a... I mean, when your team is 4 or 5 and winning, when you're Alchemist and you're having free farm, it's like, it's game over. I really attribute this game to Invoker being terrible, honestly. Could have been a disaster, but the A never did anything. The invoker was awful. The invoker basically fed me, honestly. Didn't uh, try to do anything to stop me. Just as bad as feeding me, in my opinion. And use these to kill all the creeps. And dangerous. And I think I just got my item stolen. Never mind. I thought, I thought I got my item stolen for a second. I wasn't even. I mean, I'm not even paying attention to this game. I could have, but. I could have died there if I. Like, you know, we're doing a better job, but. That kind of sucks. Got hit by a blast there, so I'm gonna have to back off. I don't even like I, I wasn't really hard committing that fight. It was fine.
Oh, I heard that. And he's dead. And this is the, uh... I'm here like I, I, I would honestly uh, be saying something but this game's over at this point because of how badly they played the mid and or the early in the mid game and the invoker is trying to like I'm just trying to get this invoker to shut the hell up because he's a moron um, I'm gonna go for I could go for Vanguard yeah I'll go for Vanguard this is gonna obviously transition to a basher into a abyssal blade, I mean. Okay. Don't wanna get hit by this shit. This three here. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. That's actually bad. I shouldn't have done that because he can ult he can ult me if he's good. Yeah he did. Okay, I just have my manta ready. I can just go back in too, this guy's dead. <laughs> yeah, these guys are not very smart. Cuddle's trolling, like, he knows this game's over. He's not actually trying to throw. He's just fucking around because this game is so over. Oh, that's how that was a long time ago. Top again, continue the split pushing. Don't let their lane push out because got them by the balls with this uh, with this racks down. So just keep, keep them penned in, don't let them get out of their pace ever. I'm just gonna leave these illusions here and go mid because I notice my team's fighting bottom. Again, not even looking like on my actual screen, just looking at uh, my mini map. Send these guys making attack stuff like this. Just ratting basically. Got my abyssal blade now. I'm really not afraid of anything at this point. Could just end. I'm just gonna push in mid. I'm still playing it safe, but I'm just it's only because I'm like completely unfocused at this point. Because this game's over. And I'm just kind of stop trying. Don't really need to try anymore. It was over because of Invoker's awful play, and it's funny that he even has the the balls to like try and blame his team or say that he won mid. Like maybe he thinks he won mid because he farmed, but he traded he completely traded farm against the fucking alchemist. That's a good idea. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, that's GG. This 
guy's gonna try to do something. Just gonna man to walk away, la la la, can't catch me. What is this? La la la. Give him the question mark. It's the most important thing in Dota is to give your enemies question marks whenever you beat them. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Uh, no, I'm fairly sure that I can't even die at this point, so I'm just gonna go on. Da 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 Well, I don't really think this is a good game for my commentary, but you can see, uh, I don't know, what happens when one little mistake snowballs. So, uh, that was this game. This game was pretty awful for them. It was great for us. I don't really care about it because it was so easy. trolling him there, and that's the end of the video. Because, I don't know. Nothing else to say. Here's the score screen. I had over a thousand GPM. It's not really a good game to base much off of, other than, like, my mentality as a carry. And especially a carry that's that you want to kind of, like, gain towards the late game. Because this game isn't about... Well, it is, it is uh, actually primarily about kills. It's about killing the enemy team, but you don't win that way. Um, you know, you kind of have to win in the end of the game by by killing people, but Dota is really more like a battle for resources all over the map, and then you use those resources to kill the enemy. And it sounds like I'm saying rat Dota, but no, no it's, it's more about like, like GPM and XPM are really important stats, that's why they're on the page. When you have, you know, look at, uh, uh, where is it? Look at Timber and look, oh, especially look at Sven's GPM, 363. Now that's all my team, that had nothing to do with me. But 363 GPM on your Sven is never, ever, ever going to win you a game unless you're playing really, really low on the water. Because Sven needs to be a hero that's at like 600, 700, 800 GPM uh, to even be tied with the enemy carry. Uh, anyways, the most important part about the video was the way that I was able to kind of like see what was happening just by looking at the mini map. Like I was looking at the mini map for like 50% of the game. Uh, like 50% actually looking at my hero and 50% looking at the mini map and seeing where everything is, where everything's happening. And I think most uh, like 3K players, maybe maybe not, maybe that's a bad uh, example, but I think a lot of players who find themselves unable to uh, to avoid. I don't know, dying too much in games or to avoid uh, losing late games is just not paying enough attention to them mini maps. Uh, I talked way too long of to, about this shitty game because this game wasn't really anything special. But I'm not going to do another recording because I'm lazy. So there's that. Maybe I'll do another when I like lose a game or something. Or I'll do another one when it's like a really close game and we lose or 
a really close game we managed to win because of you know certain things that maybe people don't see every day or whatever but anyway that was this game I'm sorry that you had to watch it and I'm sorry that you know it sucks ass but what you gonna do alright um, I don't really know how to end a video so